Melissa Courtney Bryant for me. I have to try and see if she can handle what Laura Muir's got to throw at her. She's a 404 competitor, Melissa Courtney Bryant. She's got something Laura Muir hasn't got. She's got a medal at the Commonwealth Games. Laura Muir contended the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow 2014 and wasn't successful in securing a medal. Melissa Courtney Bryant doing that over in Australia in 2018. Hannah Nuttall, some good experience over the longer distances, dabbled in the steeplechase over the last couple of years. And she's the athlete to take up the running at the moment. Coached at the moment by Helen, Helen Clitheroe, so they will have a plan. And I'm sure Hannah Nuttall will try and execute that plan as they come through the first 200 metres, around about 4.20, 4.22 pace. So it's not lightning quick. And everyone will know that Laura Muir is just biding her time behind. You can see her just at the back of your picture wearing that great Britain kit with a red number on her front. She is the UK, she's the UK lead with 402.8. And the rest of the athletes have just got to look at each other and try and figure out these minor places. Well, it's uh, on the slow side, isn't it? 54 seconds. Laura Muir, the whole field in her sights. Probably the right thing to do at this stage, although I'm always a little bit nervous when it's really slow, Hannah, and you fear that somebody might go down. And if you're towards the back of the field, you can get caught up in this 73 seconds. The opening lap, Laura Muir might be more comfortable. It have been about 10 seconds quicker. Uh, absolutely, as with Melissa Courtney Bryant. At this point yesterday, Ellie Leather, you can see her on the outside of your picture, she thought, this is going too slow. I don't want to be running this slow. So maybe Ellie Leather might swing around and have a go, I thought. Alex Millard might, she's there on the inside in the rest red vest with the one on her hip. She ran a great sub 16 minute 5K. She could be in a 5K later if she wanted to, but choosing to come here perhaps because of that great 412 personal best she ran in Watford a few weeks ago. And Ellie Leather just on the shoulder of Melissa Courtney Bryant, kind of longer getting pushed super wide here. I've seen her training partner Isabel Ives make that 800 meter final, but look at here comes Laura Muir. Let's get a clock on this. Laura Muir, same as she did yesterday, coming through with two laps to go. Maybe she's going to test herself, see what she can do over the final 800 metres. That wasn't the change of pace we saw yesterday. But all the other athletes politely just letting Laura Muir get herself near the front. And why not? Melissa Courtney Bryant will be waiting for this. She's positioned herself on the outside of Hannah Nuttall here. I feel that that's certainly to try and respond when Laura Muir does swim wide. And look at that, really love that, love that. You've got Olympic silver medalist on your shoulder. What do you do? Push her wide a little bit, protect your position. So we're coming up with 600 metres to go. 226 at 800 metres, another very slow lap. In fact, even slower than the first. It was outside 73 seconds. But Laura Muir, one of the uh, test. I thought she might kick in hard there with 800 to go. It was 209 there, but she hasn't done that. Either. So just beginning to wind it up here nicely. And you can see the only other athlete who's broken 410 this year, uh, getting into a slip stream there, uh, Millie Bryant. So Laura Muir, that is the big move. 500 meters to go. She's really put her foot down. This wasn't a slow lap, but this will be a 63 or so off Laura Muir, and now she's really got into her full flow running, and Melissa Courtney Bryant in second place at the moment. Hannah Nuttall holding on for third. The athletes are spread out behind her. They've, they've kicked everybody. He's really moving flat out now. Laura Muir's home and dry. She's got 300 metres to go, thanks to a 60-second lap. Nobody could live with that change of pace. At the moment, Melissa Courtney Bryant looking OK for the silver medal, but Hannah Nuttall's closing hard. Sabrina Sinner is with her. Alexandra Millard is there. You can see as that camera pans out. And Hannah Nuttall at the moment in that th bronze medal position. Melissa Courtney in the silver medal position. That gap has remained the same for the last 300 metres. Laura Muir striding away down the track. It's great to see an athlete of Laura Muir's calibre here contending this British title. And it's going to be another British win at this UK Championships for Laura Muir. She's racking up these titles. Olympic silver last year after so many years of being in and around that podium. And it's another UK title with a scintillating closing lap. Melissa Courtney holds on well for the second silver medal. And Sabrina Sinner bags herself her first senior medal. She's fourth or fifth at the indoor championships. But hats off to Sabrina Sinner and her coaching team because that is some run. You said there was an opportunity behind the likes of Laura Muir and Melissa Courtney Bryant. And the best of the rest today was Sabrina Sinner. A brave run from Hannah Nuttall just slipping back into fourth place. Well, the last 800 for Laura Muir won't have been much outside at two minutes. She was she ran a 60 
up to 1200 meters and she came home with a last lap of about 60 as well 60.2 there or thereabouts so probably about 201 202 her last 800 meters Laura Mill she was really working on the final lap and her up the back straight into it grimacing they can see here she's still working very hard yesterday was just some sort of a mix apparently she ran that 800 mid race yesterday really with only a hard 650 in about 203 well here I think she's gone quicker for her last 800 so it's been a superb weekend's workout for Laura Mill with all due respect to her opposition Virtually a couple of uh, good hard training blowouts for Laura Muir. Disappointing that nine women in the UK have broken 410 this year, but only two of them in this final. There are different reasons for that. Katie Snowden, of course, we know is not well, and other athletes are focusing on other priorities. But that is a totally dominant run from Laura Muir, and as you say, yet another UK title. There's only be a 2.03 closing 800 from Laura Muir. That's when they came through the time from two laps to go uh, to the finish. was probably 2.03 for the leaders, maybe 2.2 for Laura. But it's windy. You know, that that's, that's pretty yeah. good running um, out there on your own uh, when she didn't get didn't get going, uh, you know, until sort of 500 metres to go as well. But Ewan is on the infield and Laura Muir can tell it about us, about it herself.